For this project, you will need watercolor paper, watercolor paint, watercolor brushes, pencils, Elmer's glue, and table salt. The first thing we did was sketch out our designs, which would act as templates for the science portion of the art creation. We didn't set guidelines for the type of design we had to create, so I decided to draw a Christmas tree to be festive. I also sketched up my design, which was a flower. When sketching my design, I made sure to make the design big enough to be outlined in Elmer's glue. Once the sketch is done, outline your design in Elmer's glue. Make sure you outline your artwork carefully as this will be important for the end result. Once the outline of glue is done, pour salt liberally over the design and cover all glue covered areas. Shake off excess salt when finished. Once you've added the salt, let the glue dry before adding your watercolors. The salt is very important for this project because it makes the watercolor stick to the outline. The salt is made of sodium chloride, which is an ionic compound, and the water is a polar covalent molecule. The reason why the watercolor stays with the salt is because the sodium ions are attracted to the oxygen in the water, while the chlorine ions are attracted to the hydrogens. The different bonds in this experiment cause the watercolor to be attracted to the salt and not spread across the paper. This is because the sodium ions are positive and the oxygens are negative, and the chlorine ions are negative and the hydrogens are positive, and opposites attract. When choosing your watercolors, have fun with the color combinations you choose. There is no right or wrong way to design your final product, so be creative. Our final products are quite different, but they are unique and both display the really cool science mentioned earlier.